Hi there, I'm Brian. And I'm Jamie. And we are with an Oregon Cottage podcast. And today we are going to be looking at some of the things that we've recommended as being really cool. But we're going to take a look back and see if we really like them. And in fact, I should say that we actually have a segment on the podcast, if you haven't listened before, called This Is Really Cool. And in fact, it's time for... There you go. That's the jingle for it, where we share some of the things that we've discovered that we think are really useful and that we say this is really cool. Yeah. And we've done quite a few, so we don't have the time on this podcast to talk about everything. So um, we've just picked the ones that left the biggest impression. Um, some good, some bad. Hi, this is Jamie. And this is Brian. Welcome to the podcast for an Oregon cottage. Where we talk about the food we love. The projects we're working on. Things that went great. And things that didn't go so well. In other words, simple homemade life. If you're watching this on YouTube, then it's pretty obvious that we have videotaped this segment of the podcast like we've done before. But if you're listening on the podcast, uh, and you're wondering what are these some of these things look like that we're holding up to the microphone that we seem to be describing you can go over to the show notes page which is at an oregoncottage.com slash podcast and there will be well you can actually watch the video there mm -hmm, plus there's going to be links to all these things and pictures and whatever else so yeah. you will be covered great you can listen watch read whatever you want to do at the show notes page so Jamie how did we decide what we are going to include on our this is really cool segment right so we didn't want to just you know include everything obviously so um this we wanted to know you know they left the biggest impression so those kind of the criteria we used for that was um that if it's something that we're still talking about thinking about or using obviously um also we wanted to make sure that it was still available there's some things we've talked about from the beginning of the podcast that you can't really get anymore. So that would be really good. And then um, finally, we wanted to make sure that it would still really be useful to you guys and um, like maybe something that would impact your life as well. So um, there are some things on the list that I think are really cool still, but like a trip to Waco, but that might not really impact you. So I didn't pick that one. <laughs> so it, that would be really cool though. Go, go to Waco, yeah. that was a lot of fun. That was cool. So, okay, so the first thing is something that I shared early on that I still think is really, really great. And it is the Anker, A-N-K-E-R, keyboard cover for my uh, iPad. I have an iPad, what is it? Four, I think. No, it's after that. Five? It's the light. Oh, The whatever. iPad, it's not the Pro. But anyway, what's super cool is this keyboard that I found. I got it because it looks, it, the, the, the finish of the keyboard, I'm gonna show it this way, matches the finish of the iPad. <laughs> and so the, it has a magnet on it. Hopefully I can do this. Get the magnet to snap on there. I'm doing it backwards. And it just goes together and makes like a great little shell for it. But it's also a, a, a Bluetooth keyboard that you can type away on. And the thing, you uh, I shut it off when I'm done. Of course, I've, I've left it on for weeks and it has literally been months since I've charged it. So it's really sturdy. It matched the, the, the aluminum finish of my iPad and it works really well. The Anchor keyboard cover. So, oh, I'm giving that the thumbs up. Should I say okay. that's the thumbs up? I'm still, I'm still, I'm still thinking that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I guess we should say all the things at the beginning are still really cool. <laughs> you have to wait to the end. We have a few things that maybe aren't quite as cool anymore. <laughs> if you can't tell. If you can't tell. So mine from um, kind of way back is that I've been. If, if you're a reader of the blog, you know this as well. But I'm really into audiobooks now. It really helps me get a lot of books read um, while I'm doing the dishes, getting ready in the morning, traveling. It's, it's, it's just been really great for my reading life. So I like audiobooks. And then the app that I really like, and I mentioned this on the podcast, on the blog, I've mentioned it everywhere because it's far and above the regular library app. It's uh, called Hoopla. And most people talk about either Overdrive or Libby. Libby is kind of the better version of Overdrive now. But the thing with Hoopla is, it, not all libraries have it, but if yours has it, get it. Because you do not have to check out a book and hold. If it's there, you can grab it and listen to it right away. It's amazing, because you can't do that with Libby. 
and it's still from your library. So um, I do have both on because sometimes, even though it's the same library, there'll, there'll be something in Libby that won't be in Hoopla and vice versa. So I keep them both, but I love, and you don't, it doesn't, um, it returns after like 26 days, but you can immediately um, check it out again and finish listening to it. So it's really the best app for listening to library audiobooks online. So that's a thumb, second thumbs up. Okay, here's another one I liked. I'm, oh, I gave it away. Oops, oh. there we went the suspense. For, <laughs> for any kind of, of, of audio cords or HDMI cords or cabling for all that kind of thing, there's a website called monoprice.com. And I have just, they're, they're, they're inexpensive and their shipping is cheap and they're fast. And it's, it's, it's almost like a little Amazon, but it's focused on cords. And like, if you could just see the rig I have right now behind the camera, the, the audio and everything to get this to work. <laughs> There's a lot of cords. I have a whole box of cords. I like, I like doing stuff with all these funky cords. Always, I'm always trying something cords. different. Yeah, the cords, the cords. So you go to uh, monoprice.com and it's a great place to get HDMI, any kind of cabling, any kind of audio cords. They will have it in all the different links that you need. So I always go there before I go to Amazon. Okay, and so my next thing is the Yui Boom. And this is a Bluetooth speaker. It has great sound. Um, I've had this for a number of years, actually, and I know they've come out with newer versions that have even better sound. There are the, the price points lower. Um, you can even get, it doesn't even have to be this brand, but I really love the Yui Boom. It connects really easily to everything we try to connect it to. We even hook it up by a cable to our TV sometimes to get to get the better sound. So um, yeah, Yui Boom, it's still a really, really cool thing. Um, it just has made a big difference in our music listening, podcast listening. You can listen to a podcast for that. Okay, I'm reaching down. I hope this fits. This is a, a Delcy <laughs> carry-on little suitcase. And I don't know, we'll, we'll show it. We'll cut away to a bigger picture of it there. It, it, um, we were going to go on a trip to uh, kind of a family reunion to our homeland in Nova Scotia, at least from his my side homeland. of the, his homeland, my people. And um, so we, we were, I, I was using this old thrift store suitcase and we just said, if we're going to cross five time zones, I want a decent light suitcase. So I was at Costco and they had this, uh, this deal and it was, it was super light and had really cool wheels the way the, the wheels went. Well, and it's it, the old, yeah, the old it was wheel. so light. It felt about as sturdy as like a little umbrella. But what's amazing is this thing has held up and it made it to Nova Scotia and back and a number of trips. And this thing is just super light, mm -hmm. super easy to go skating through the airport. And so I still highly recommend it. And we've actually, um, have and it not, was under a hundred dollars. Oh yeah. It was like, Closer to 50 bucks. I think it was like 70 maybe. Was it? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway it yeah. It, it's, it was a telescoping arm that I thought this is gonna snap off the first time. And I've had that thing crammed with stuff and it'll, you can wheel it like you're walking a little dog or you can drag it and you can, I've picked it up by every handle, probably the way you're not supposed to. It's super, super light and it's been really durable. And I was gonna say, we got it at Costco and I have a feeling it's it's a Costco only because we, um, we remember, on Amazon, we found one close to There's it. There's a similar one. A little yeah. more expensive. It's got a few more pockets, but mm -hmm. anyway, so yeah, I and love I think that. we linked to it because it's a good it's a good deal. Still. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So my next one is actually um, a, a workout, and I'm still doing it. And because I'm still doing a workout this many years later, I think it's been now two and a half, almost three years. That means it's a cool thing because I have. I uh, have tried and left so many workouts in the past. So I really like bar three and bar three is B-A-R-R-E. -R -E, so it's like a ballet bar. And then the three stands for um, Pilates, yoga, and um, bar, uh, like, you know, ballet bar exercises. And so they, they just kind of have all of these mixed together and it's, it's low impact, but really, um, really strength training and there's lots of modifications for people of all different levels and it's just encouraging and it's uplifting and i feel really good when i've done it and there's all different um like i said levels it, it's just I, I really liked it there's been very few things that i have stuck with and so bar three is a cool thing that's a pretty cool thing okay here's another thing you've probably heard of uh inexpensive <laughs> conditioner 
<laughs> you go from one but to But this the is other. not, I'm not recommending this for your hair. <laughs> what I discovered on, on a trip when I forgot my shaving cream on a business trip, I'm, I'm going through the drawers at the hotel bathroom and there's a little basket with cheap conditioner, right? That kind of just really coats your hair with like this paraffin. And I'm like, okay, I'll try that. So I rub it on my face and I shave with it. And it's like, hey, that was actually pretty good. That was actually a better shave than with shaving cream or gel or some of this I other. I was not with you. I'm not sure. No, uh, -uh. Like, other expensive. I know I was desperate. <laughs> Can't, you cannot show up for a meeting looking like a bum, you know, mm -hmm. so I was Anyway, then it, then I started shaving all the time with conditioner and this is this is one of my favorites This is suave. This is like pretty inexpensive, isn't it? It's a dollar. Yeah, it's, it's a dollar, a dollar. Okay. Sometimes you can get dollar it for less store than conditioner. a dollar. And in fact, I shaved today with and it's it's terrific and it actually rinses out of your razor better and it's easier on your skin and so now I'm seeing that they're like Dollar Shave Club will sell you Shaving lotion. I mean, like instead yeah. of shave lotion, instead of aftershave. Yeah. And uh, for ten dollars. Yeah. For a so, smaller container. So this, th I mean, huge thing or small yeah. thing. So anyway, I still That's recommend. That's a real secret. Yeah. That's a real secret. Shave with conditioner. Yeah. Okay, so my next cool thing is something I've known about for years, and I try to tell everybody because it's just like the best place. It's a secret place to get pillows. It's from H&M. Now H&M is mostly known for clothes and if you go to most of the stores, I think there might be some big ones that have a home section, but um, they don't have a home section so most people don't know about it. But online you can get really good quality and I'm talking like 100% cotton, 100% linen, good quality things for pretty inexpensive and their pillows are like number one. So I just have some examples to show you because I've gotten a lot of pillows from over there. So you can get something like this and they're pretty big and this is like a heavy duty canvas and it's a stripe that goes with a lot of things um this was something it's not available anymore but it was available years ago linen with some fun um words on it these were all under ten dollars you just get the cover so you have to provide the insert they even have some really cool um velvet ones in different shapes like this and regular shapes and in different colors so they're these were great for the holidays and in winter, I love using the velvet ones. This was, I think, maybe $7.99. A lot of their pillows are like $5.99, and if you get them on their clearance, like for the next season, sometimes they're $3.99, and they're they're really good quality. They have zippers. It's it's H&M for pillows. Go there, H&M.com. It's a really cool thing. I okay. keep saying that. I it is, we, it's really cool. We just can't. We kind of <laughs> help it. It's really cool. The the thing I was going to share. It's actually it's in my cup. I had it over here within reach. <laughs> Let me explain in a second. And now it's over in the carrying oh, shoot, machine. I can't get to it. But it's it's a uh, here's a here's a picture of it. It's a San Francisco Bay Carrig pod. And what's cool about it is San Francisco Bay they make a really good tasting coffee for Costco is where we discovered it. And it's just for mm -hmm. inexpensive, it's really good. We it is it's got it's uh, biodegradable, so yeah. it's not a plastic cup. So a number one, it's good coffee. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you have to like yeah. that. And then B it's, it's got like a little, uh, cloth, like, um, yeah, it's like, yeah, like a permeable and the top feels like plastic, but it's actually cornstarch. So it's not it's kind of cardboard and, and yeah. biodegradable cloth and cornstarch. And so it, it's way less packaging than the other one. Yeah. And it goes, so it makes a really good cup of coffee in your Keurig and it doesn't fill up the landfill. Yeah. And I like the decaf. So that's right. There's regular it. and decaf. I never put yeah. it on the cool things list. But, but that's true. That is a cool It's a, a good cool decaf French roast, which is hard to find. So that's a really good one, too. Um, so my next one that I picked, because uh, I do still enjoy these. The whole family enjoys them. I don't know if you can see. Oh, well, I'm holding them upside down. So that would be it. So these are Newman's Own Mints. So Newman's Own Mints are made with just, um, you know, sugar and regular ingredients. But the thing that I really like is this wintergreen flavor. Now wintergreen is just like the perfect combo to me. It's not too spicy. It's not too hot. It doesn't, you know, clear your sinuses, but it really refreshes your mouth. So I stock up on these Newman's own wintergreen mints and I have them in my purse all the time. And you've enjoyed them before church when we're going to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. To make sure and no they've enjoyed breath. them. That I, yeah. yeah, that I don't have that breath. It helps with coffee breath. <laughs> so Newman's own wintergreen flavored mints. Okay, so we discovered these uh, kayak racks when we were we wanted to do more kayaking. We that's something we especially love doing together, and we were pricing what just racks on a little SUV would go for, and they cost 
a lot more than either of the kayaks. They're just really expensive. Yeah. It's, and then they're from, I mean, they're, they're very high quality, right. but they're from the brands that just, just sell very, very high quality, expensive stuff. So we're, we're clicking around and kind of through Craigslist, it kind of kicked me back onto Amazon and I discovered this set of holders that they, they just bolt to the, the little rack that already comes on the top of your, um, we have a Ford Escape, but a bunch of little SUVs have this little, have a little rack that's already on top. It just, it screws onto there and it looks, kind of looks rinky dink. It looks kind of flimsy <laughs> and it's just these four little things that, that hook onto there. I think total, I think it was $75 for yeah, but racks a lot, for two. They're a lot less now. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're even less. they down in price. And that would be a quarter, that would be less than a quarter of mm -hmm. what, a, what these other rack systems You can get them for were. 50 now, I think. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. for a pair. Well, anyway, all that to say, we have used them a lot and we have driven a lot of places with them on you they know freeway sturdy. speeds and over the mountains and mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of miles and these things are solid you strap those yeah kayaks on there they're not going anywhere so when when you i don't know that there's a name brand they're sold under a bunch of name brands but when you looking at the picture you'll um if you go onto amazon and we you'll have see, a link and we have a link yeah we yeah, have a link we have a link yeah they're all basically the same design so yeah for for don't you know don't spend your money on the kayaks yes. not on the rack that's what i say with comfortable seats kayaks that's with right comfortable seats. so my next thing is a gardening I've gotta get it here so it's called a seedling heat mat and I've actually had this seedling heat mat for probably 10 years now. Um, they've come way down in price since I purchased this one. I think I paid 40. And I think the last time I linked to it on uh, the blog, it was $12. So it's really come down in price. But what you do is you put it underneath your, um, your seed starting uh, container, whatever you're using, and you plug it in. And it's just this low heat to the roots of your plant. And it made a huge difference in getting my seedlings to take off and grow um, versus when I didn't use it. And I, I didn't do it for the longest time because I thought, well, I'm doing them indoors and it's warm anyway. It made a huge difference, especially with the hot lovers, like the um, peppers and the tomatoes, but peppers especially are hard to get started. So a seedling heat mat, if you can find it for $12, I think the link that I'll have will be at the lower price link and it's worth it. If you're starting seeds, it's really a good thing. Well, this thing, and I already, I'm probably going to call it by the wrong name. It's a, um, I think this driver is an driver? impact. I call oh, it a driver, oh. but I think it's called an impact. Okay. But, but what it does, it, it looks just like, it looks like a cordless drill, right? And I'm, I'm kind of spoiled in that since the time, since we've owned our first home, uh, cordless drills were really expensive and kind of weenie. They were like 12 volt and they could sort of do a screwdriver and that was it. And then they've gotten stronger and stronger and the voltage has gone up. Well, this is a different kind of technology it's um it maintains the torque it's specially made for driving screws like a driver drill <clears throat> or a drill is actually for drilling and for really lightweight screws but this what this does it's it has little bursts of i don't know if it's the gearing or the motor but it maintains torque even at low rotations so you won't a, a regular drill as it slows down it kind of weakens and you end up stripping the top of like a, a phillips head but with a with one of these driver impact, God, I want to call it impact. I, well, I'm gonna font below what it's really supposed to be called. <laughs> it, even at low speeds, as you're getting close to, if you don't want to countersink it too much, you you want it to be flush. It continues the same amount of power, but in this little ratchety action, and it's really really well worth it for uh, another tool. This is a this is a Porter cable. I know there's some other brands. Um, it's a 20 volt, so the battery goes a long time and has a lot of power, and it really makes a difference. If you're gonna be doing um, doing screws and decking for more than a few minutes, it's really worth it to have one of these. Yes, and we're doing a lot of a lot of work on the farmhouse. Taking out a lot of screws, it's good Taking too. Taking out screws, putting in screws. Um, okay, so my, oh, and I'm so excited about this one because I, I again, this is one thing I've talked about a lot whenever I could. Any, any place I can talk about it, I'll talk about it. So on the blog, um, I've talked about it on the podcast. Um, but so I'm a knitter and I used to always knit with the long, the long single, you know, what you think of when you knit. And when you knit with that, they flop down, they hit your arms, they're hitting here, you're hitting the next person next to you if you're like in an airplane and you want to knit. So um, I found Knit Picks and Knit Picks has um, interchangeable needles. 
And so what these are, are their, their needle heads. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and they just screw in to a long cable. And you can buy all different lengths of cable. And so you get a cable um, in a, in, I'm making a mess here. You get a cable and you just then pick the size that you want for the project you're working on. So if you're working on a little teeny scarf, you're gonna pick a little teeny one. If you're making a big sweater, you're gonna pick it. And you've got your needle head any size that you need. So when your pattern changes sizes, which it often does when you're going from ribbing to regular, you don't have to scramble or make sure you have your needles because they're always there. Now, the other thing that is amazing to me about this, all I have needles all the way from size five all the way up to size 13, and they just are in this one little thing that I can take with me anywhere. Now, if you remember all the big needles you had to have, I had a huge thing of them, I had to pick, this can go with me, they're all there. And I can, I can have them. To me, if you're a knitter, or if, they have this for crochet too. So if you're a crochet, not the interchangeable, but you can have them all together. And it just made it portable and easy to find and easy to keep working on a project. So Knit Picks, interchangeable needles. I love them. Okay, and I have to go to a, a screenshot for this next one of mine that I really like. <clears throat> and this only applies to people that have AT&T for their cell phone service, which we've had for a number of years. Um, and it, we like AT&T for a number of reasons. But anyway, this thing, I, this little freebie I found out that we get um, is that every Tuesday, AT&T will buy you one movie ticket. So if you, if you buy one movie ticket, AT&T has this little thank you app and it's got other rewards on it. But um, the thing we use all the time yeah. is to get a free movie ticket. So you, you go on the app and you say, okay, it'll, it'll show you local theaters. You kind of pick your movie and then it takes you to the, the theater chain app and you buy it and the discount works. And every time, I think it's a cheap night to get movie tickets anyway. I think that's why they pick yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, they pick Tuesday because not many people go. But, but that actually happens to be our date night. So well, we why always, did we choose yeah. Tuesday as a date night? <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> it's, a cheap, it's a cheap movie. It's a cheap date. Hey. So anyway, it's, it's the eight. It's really, I think it's take a friend of the movie Tuesdays or they have, they have some title for it. Yeah. And it's part of the AT&T thank you app. Um, but anyway, it's really yeah. fun. If you already have AT&T, you should use it. It's fun. Get them to buy you a movie ticket. Yeah. And there are a number of people who have AT&T, so that's why it did make the list. It is something they can do. And I think, like, we thought it was kind of not real at first. Like, we thought, this There's going to be some catch or it's yeah, actually gonna not going to... Yeah, they're going to make you do yeah, something. You get... So it's real. Like, they just... It's a ticket. Now, you do have to pay a fee. Well, there's always a fee if you if buy you your buy tickets online. ahead of time online. But even so, with the fee, it works out to be... Because we cheap. often do that just to make sure you get a good seat. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, so... Um, my next one is something that's kind of fairly recent in my life. Um, it's a set of Apple AirPods. And <clears throat> these are kind of expensive. In fact, I thought they were ridiculously expensive. Like stupid, ridiculous expensive for air, I mean, for earbuds, come on. But they're, um, cause they're like $130 or something like that. But they're- um, I think they're, they're 150 normally. 149 or something. Well, that. whatever. Anyway, they're expensive. They're not cheap. But so they just, they're wireless, they're Bluetooth, they just fit in your ear. They do not fall out. I know when they first came out, everybody was like, oh, you're going to be finding these everywhere. I've gardened in them. They don't fall out. I have never had one fall out. So, um, I mean, maybe if you're jumping up and down, but for the most part, they don't fall out. Um, the other thing that's like so cool is that this is a charger. So you charge this up and this holds more charge than your ear pods so your ear pods hold three hours and then when you're ready to recharge them you just put them back in here to recharge them and this goes for like nine or ten hours um i think there's three charges of pods in here so it just it really is really cool they they automatically stop what you're listening to when you have to pull one out so if someone talks to you you just pull one out it stops you put it back in it starts back up again it's like magic <laughs> So I did have some like gift money and so if you have some gift money and you're able to finagle to get this, I bought them on Amazon and um, so if you get those Amazon gift cards or whatever, I this is something I would save up for because they're really they're really fun. In fact, I bought you a pair for I know, I really like for them. Because cool. I thought they were so neat. So it's amazing technology. It's a good gift yeah. idea too if you can swing it or go in with people. Well one thing um, that's really important these days is online security. And so 
you're supposed to have these really long, uh, you know, alphabet soup passwords, and you're on, we all have like easily 50 sites that we are members on. If you, you know, if you think about banking and basically anything in life where your identity can get stolen, you have to have a secure username and password. And so you get these really long passwords and they're a pain, you, you'll you never remember them. Oh, yeah. And they're really hard to type in. And um, there's been, uh, Apple has a little bit of a built-in within Safari, they have a thing where they can generate them. But a thing that I found that's incredible, that's free, it is so great, I would pay for it. It's a password management platform called LastPass. And so what's cool about it is, first of all, you can store, um, kind of the main place I enter my passwords is on uh, my web browser. I use a Chrome browser for it on my laptop. And then that's kind of where I can do all the, the banking and all the serious stuff. And so within LastPass, you can open up a record and it's stored securely. There's a master password that gets you into LastPass. And then everything else, it's stored securely. And you can have all kinds of information about each account in there. Like you can have all the questions they're gonna ask you and all this other stuff, the bank routing numbers and whatever. But the second thing that is super cool is that then if you get a LastPass app on like, um, I have one on my iPad, I have one on my iPhone, it, you're, you're in everywhere. You Once you've logged into there, LastPass gives you access to all your passwords and all that information um, wherever you are. And it's there's been, there's been times when there was a, a something funky with the credit card or whatever is happening and I've been able to get into LastPass and get information remotely just having my phone with me. So it it's great because you can you can just have these really long confusing passwords yeah. that are secure that are easy to switch. LastPass as you go to a site that you're used to, in fact today I was doing it, I was transferring some money at an investment account. LastPass fills in your username and password. It goes, "Oh, you're at whatever mm -hmm. this place is." Boom, I don't even click anymore. It just goes through. And it's the yeah. same with the credit card sites. So it's super convenient and then you can take it on all your devices. So I'm super happy with it. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of people use LastPass, but if you aren't one of them, yeah. it's really good. Yeah, it's good. He's got me using it now. <laughs> okay, so um, mine is this uh, next thing is the leather backpack. So I had talked about this um, not too long ago, and this is um, an American Out Eagle Outfitters, AEO, yeah, American Eagle Outfitters, Italian leather, 100% leather backpack. And it's it's perfect, it's the perfect size for traveling. I took this for traveling instead of my big tote. And I love being able to um, close everything up in it. My Everything fit, my little purse fit in here, my computer fit in here, my knitting fit in here, my water bottle, everything fit in. And um, my all the stuff I needed to have my phone and everything was in the front. It, it just really worked well. The thing that's just so cool about it, not that it's just leather, not that it's just really great for you know, carrying a bunch of stuff. It's that it's only forty dollars. This is thirty nine ninety nine. Like a hundred percent leather. That's real leather. Yes, that's real leather. Wow. It even says that made in Italy. It's a hundred percent leather. It's like so cheap. And they have a number of other real leather. Um, they have purses and um, I think they have a tote bag and different things in this. And you get it on DSW. So it's American Eagle Outfitters through DSW site. And it's really good quality for, now I think the, the zippers aren't quite as smooth as maybe something that's more expensive, higher end. They're a little bit kind of bigger zipper and they're, but they work fine. You know, they, they haven't gotten stuck or anything, but they're just not quite as smooth. But it's, I'm really impressed with the price point and the quality of the leather. So something that I have learned to do this year and have talked about it on the podcast is surfing in Oregon. And if you know, in Oregon, the ocean is extremely cold. We, we have some decent waves. In fact, there's a, there's a huge competition about a mile off the coast, straight west of where we are. But if the water is so cold, it's in the low 50s. If you go in it for more than a few minutes, you will get hypothermia. Your, your limbs kind of stop working. So the secret um, that I learned is when they teach you to surf is that you get a decent wetsuit. And so um, I'm wanting to say that I'm still really enjoying surfing. I go with my daughter. It's kind of a father-daughter thing. She's the one that first um, challenged me to take the lesson with her. And we've uh, since then, she's bought a board and I've kind of got my eye on uh, a board to purchase. And I feel like it's a sport. It's kind of low impact and unless the um, the ocean hits you in the head with your surfboard. <laughs> but it's you. it's really... 
the the wetsuit keeps you so warm that I I surf barehanded and bareheaded, and even though you get dunked under the water, you don't get cold. So and that's um, amazing because if you just wade in in the summer, if you just wade oh, yeah. in with your 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 feet get numb pretty quick. And your it's it's physically quite demanding, and I think that's part of what makes you really warm because you're constantly struggling against the waves, paddling and paddling out. I like to say that the people in with a good wetsuit, you're warmer in the water than the people on the beach who are just yeah. looking at you. Well, going, I believe it. I was the going, person you on are the beach. Nuts. So anyway, I would still say surfing in Oregon gets the thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my next thing is uh, again at the DSW site, and these are um, the most comfortable booty I've ever um, owned. So again, another another one I've talked about a lot um, because it's 100% leather. It's really comfortable it's called me too the me too um i'll link to it i, I think Which there's is another an name. odd name these well, days now, <laughs> me too <laughs> they probably obviously named it it a long doesn't time mean ago. the same thing so um this was the first i got the brown first and uh, i wore them traveling in an airport like all day long traveling in an airport because i knew i would need booties when i got to where we were going um it was winter and I did not, my feet were still, com I couldn't believe how comfortable they were. So I've got a pair in black now too. So I have black and brown in these and they are very comfortable. Um, I still think that they're a great deal and uh, you can see that they've lasted. I've worn them a lot and they just kind of get better with wear. So me too, comfortable booty from DSW. Well, something that I've tried out surfing is this little uh, Easy Viz camera. It's basically a uh, a GoPro knockoff, but I wasn't going to pay two hundred plus dollars for a little. It's a little tiny HD camera, so it was like fifty something Thank you. bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. So, but but part of it is you you can't just take a camera underwater. It's a pretty incredible little camera. It's got a little touch screen and everything, and it shoots wide angle HD. But it came with um, this thing, this part of the thing. It's a waterproof oh. case. And so the proof is in the pudding. I have it. taken it out. Um, in fact, here, here's some footage taken while surfing. And so it does stand up to seawater and swishing around. And then this was a um, this was a wrist mount I got, which the jury is still. So this out. didn't come on with it. No, just the little the little waterproof case. Mm -hmm. But the waterproof case, it's it's amazing for how it kept it. You can run the buttons and still keep it waterproof, and it doesn't. So the biggest thing, and I think you'd get that with a GoPro too, is like where to put it yeah. so that it gives you some good footage. Um, and you're not just seeing, you know, you, or you're not seeing just, even just out front of you, you're not really seeing you either. So. Right, yeah, so there's different, there's kind of some, they have chest mounts, and they have mouth mounts, and head mounts, and anyway, there's oh still, gosh, the jury's still out mount? on that. But the, yeah, that's a really popular one. Wow. I know, it was weird. Anyway, easy biz, that's a great little camera. Okay, and the next one the, of mine is just a fun thing. Now, so this kind of sort of bridged the gap of holiday because you can only get these at the holidays. So right now, at the end of January, when we're um, recording this, you can't get them in the stores now. I have a stash, however, because I stocked up. <laughs> we're not gonna say where we live. I stocked up. <laughs> so next November or October, when they start putting the Christmas stuff out, you wanna look for Junior Mint Peppermint Crunch candies, and you want to stock up and get some because they're way better than Junior Mints, I think. He doesn't think so, but they're like Junior Mints, but then they have these crunchy candy cane pieces all around the outside of them, and so they're really good. They're pretty addictive, although I just, I never eat out of the box. Like, if any of you know me, you know that, so I put them in a little container, and I have like, you know, eight or so at a time. So they last a while, but I, they just are such a cool. Every season, I want these, so I had to. I had to mention them to you. So, Junior Mint Peppermint Crunch, they are really, really good. It's really, really good. Okay, so now we're going to talk about a couple of the things that we're like. Eh, now that we've had it for a while and kind of yeah. live with them, they're like. I don't know if we would recommend them. So, what's what's yeah. what's the one that you had? Well, the first one, and it's not that it's it's not bad. It's a lipstick charger, and I talked about this, and I was so excited about it because. Um, I travel, you know, when we travel, I could have charging all... Like, it, it's not, it doesn't charge lipstick. No, it's, It just looks like lipstick. Right. It's shaped like a lipstick <laughs> container, and so they call it a lipstick charger. And this is one that's made by Anchor, it's really good reviews, um, and you just, you just charge the end of it. And this holds, um, I think it'll fully charge uh, an iPhone or something for you um, on 
when this is full. So you keep this charged and then you can use it. So um, the, the thing that's just about is I have never used it. I think I used it once. I think we bought it when we went to Greece and I used it once and that was a number of years ago. But since then, everywhere you go has chargers. Most of the airplanes have chargers in them now. You can always usually find a charging station at the airport or, um, or a plug to plug your thing in. So I just really haven't used it. And so for the money, which wasn't that much, it wasn't that expensive. Um, it's just kind of, hmm. I mean, it, it can be still, and maybe it is cool for some people, but for me, it's just kind of like, it's a little bit of a waste. Yeah, so we, um, a lot of people like sleeping with a fan in their room. And so, but I, I like that, but Jamie doesn't like the cold air blowing around. So we found what we thought was this great solution, which was an iPhone app that sounds like a fan and you can pick from all these different fans and there's actually a couple of them and so for a while we were doing that to mask we yeah. actually where we were living the neighbor's dogs would bark yeah. and it, it kind of masked that but as it turned out it was kind of it we kind of um there were some drawbacks and it, we kind of fell out of use and it, it wasn't really never the really sounded the like panacea. a fan yeah it always kind of sounded like a little bit noisy yeah yeah and so it's kind of a hassle and then we've been doing this thing where we don't sleep with the phones in the room and well, so yeah, that. yeah and so but anyway so eh, I don't know so it, it's maybe it's not the thing that's gonna absolutely guarantee a good night's sleep yeah yeah probably not um, oh mine is a book my next one and even when I, I talked about this book when I was halfway through I was charmed by the book and I just had to put it in our cool thing segment because it was like so sweet and it was called cold sassy tree and um, Right after we recorded, I finished the second half of the book and I immediately thought, oh, I should not have put this up there because it just kind of turned a corner and it became kind of darker and a little bit weird and it just didn't really leave a great feeling with me. And I thought, oh, I had just sung the praises of this sweet, light, fun book and then it really wasn't. So um, I'd probably take that off. Not that it's a horrible book. Um, it was okay, but it just really didn't strike me at the end as it did at the beginning so I probably wouldn't put it on the cool list now. There was this pair of uh, Bluetooth uh, headphones that I really liked for listening to either with an iPhone or with an iPod that had um, Bluetooth on it and they were it's back when the technology was a there was a cord between the phones and then they had these little rubber hooks that kind of helped hook into your ear while, while it kind of plugged your ears from the um, from the sound and so at first I was really excited I thought I can work outside I was splitting wood and doing all this stuff but there were two things that were a drawback and I'm not saying it's necessarily this brand but maybe just in general with this technology is the battery life is relatively short mm -hmm. so if you're working outside all day it might run out in just a couple hours and then you either go get regular headphones or I like to listen to podcasts while I'm working and then the second thing was it wouldn't stay in my ears. The little, either if I had the little cord in front or behind, it would always kind of pull. And I would end up having to take my glove off and try to get the things uh, reset in my ears. So it didn't, it just didn't, you know, a, a pair of $7 skull candy mm -hmm. uh, wired has worked better than yeah. the wireless for, for wearing while working. Yeah, when you're gonna be all day, it's kind of like you just go back old school because the wireless can never last that long. Yeah, yeah. Even my little AirPods. Won't yeah, last that's that true. Long. So um, this pains me to say, <laughs> and you won't agree. We don't with agree me. on this, by the way. But I'm gonna. This so is... this is um, a spice. It's called Arizona Chipotle spice. And I have sung the praises of this for many years. I loved it. I would again hoard it when I went down. I could only find it when we went to Arizona. And I would I would hoard it. In fact, I got stopped in the airport because I had shoved it in so many places and wrapped it up. And they're like, like a drug mule. what are all these things? <laughs> so um, yeah, so they had to check. We're highly suspicious. I'm highly suspicious. Well, um, they finally had it online. And you could buy it online. I was so thrilled. I bought three of them and they changed the formula. It didn't even look like the Arizona Chipotle. It's lighter in color and the pieces are bigger. It doesn't sprinkle on your food the same way. And it kind of has a weird crunch when you, when you bite and not the same smoky flavor. And so I was really, really disappointed. I probably wouldn't put it on my cool things list anymore. <laughs> but I'm here to say but I still use it that I still really like it and I had it today on my salad <laughs> but I had and it, it doesn't I matter to me it. I don't know it just doesn't do matter as much difference. to me 
I don't know. I guess I'd have to have them side by side. I don't even know. I mean, we did have them side by side when we first got them. The fact that it's a little bit larger didn't even really occur to me until you pointed They're it not out. Quite, so, it's not quite as smoky. Um, I think because it was my favorite. I just and I you may not to notice. Eat it. You may not be disappointed. Jamie's very. She's very observant. She has high standards. That's why her yeah. her an Oregon cottage has so many readers. And <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so. This has gone on like a really long time. Oh this goodness. is we we we're this is it. we're cool out things. of things that we're gonna say either good or bad about. And yeah. if you've watched it this far, there should be some sort of door prize that we <laughs> could send Arizona you a free T-shirt. Yeah, we'll send you a sprinkle in a. Um, so anyway, if you want to know more, um, go to an Oregon Cottage dot com slash podcast, and there's the the notes and links to all these things. Um, we have a, a regular podcast as regular podcast listeners know, and it's on iTunes and Stitcher and other places that you can get podcasts. Uh, you can even ask your Alexa. She will play yeah. it for you. And I'm sorry I said her name, but she's being quiet. <laughs> um, so anyway, we just, we thank you so much for watching and listening. And um, we would love to get feedback from you in the comments uh, below here on the video or the usual ways um, through the podcast. And there's even a phone line. You can leave a voicemail if you want. And that number is also in the show notes. So this has been really fun. We've enjoyed talking at you. Yeah. We've been awfully quiet, you know, this know. conversation. Mm. But anyway, it's been fun. <laughs> and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to an Oregon Cottage podcast. All show notes are available at anoregoncottage.com slash podcast.